applying for uni has been such a great experience and it's just when you see all the offers coming back in you know that you've done something right and it's just so much encouragement and it's yeah all thanks to AIC. Now I'm graduating from AIC. I'm going to US. It's uh, I'm going to a university called University of California San Diego. I've gotten into the University of Cambridge. I'm going to Oxford University. And what I got was the full scholarship for school fee and monthly expense in the University of Tokyo. I'm going to the University of Hong Kong because I've been offered a full scholarship there. I really want to go to the University of Queensland for medicine. At the moment I'm studying at Harvard. Um, I'm studying stem cell biology I guess. Put it simply. According to the ranking, Carnegie Mellon is the top on my list and Imperial College from UK. But after research, I realized that Smith was the one for me and uh, the university counselors have helped me through this really difficult process. I really enjoyed my experience at AIC because I've met so many great people from other countries and they have a lot of experiences to share with me. So I guess I could incorporate some of their values into what I believe in, in terms of education and how it's really important. And AIC is well known for being really academically strong, so I wanted to be involved in that. And I know that lots of people go to good universities, so um, yeah, I thought it would be a good place for me to flourish in terms of my academic abilities. I think AIC has this environment where everyone pushes themselves and it's, it's kind of compulsory with the IB in a way. There's a very you know, general atmosphere of very high standards and everyone tends to push each other. And you know you're competing with the rest of the world here, so you, you always want to do your best and I think that's the environment everyone wants to be in. So we're all friendly here, there's no you know, specific problem like other general schools such as bullying or you know, things like that. There's no discrimination here and it's generally really friendly and open-armed. I do like to learn about languages and humanities and sciences and to be able to look at the different ways in which different subjects use to think that allows me to approach one question with many different ways of thinking. To me that's the most valuable thing that I got out of my education. In the school that I stayed in Vietnam, things were easier, way easier and there was only one way that we can go forward. But now there are so many ways that we can deal with one situation, one problem, and that is the challenge. And it's also opened so many opportunities that encouraged me to grow in the way that I want to, in an independent way, and, and that really makes me mature throughout the years that I spent in AAC. AAC does the IB course, which is very rigorous, and also the IB course has uh, the extended essay and the TOK, which really uh, encourages you to think critically. A lot of the other schools I went to, I don't think they offered me what I really wanted to, like in order to achieve my potential. And I think because I went to school in China for two years, and I felt like the math I was studying at my old school wasn't even up to that level I was studying in China and there wasn't as many opportunities for me to go out there and, you know, do stuff. The other side component of the IB is the CAS program, which is Creativity, Action and Service. We have to do 150 hours of that, but most of us do more. I think studying is only half of the picture in growing up. And the other really important thing was is to learn how to execute your thoughts and what you believe in and your values and to test them in the real world. And so creativity, action and service allowed me to do that. And it was very important to me because it was sort of like this grounding experience when I could actually see what I learned being put into practice. Initially I studied at like a larger school with a lot of people and there they had a lot of resources available for me, which was great. But the problem was it was really difficult to do my own thing. It was really great in that ASC was able to cater for my needs. And I found myself having different ambitions and goals. And I found ASC really supportive and providing me in um, setting up new things like my robotics club and um, my trips overseas. And I found that uh, very useful.